In Europe, things are changing very, very quickly. And a lot of people think that electric cars are charged by coal or powered by coal. It's not actually true. Last year, coal began its biggest death spiral ever. In fact, coal fell by a very big percentage in use in countries such as the United States, Europe, Australia, and even in China, where more renewable energy was installed than ever before. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. There's been a so-called monumental shift as European coal use and gas use has collapsed with a huge increase in wind and solar generation. And that means that these people who claim right, that EVs are charged by fossil fuels, in particular by coal, while well, they're becoming more and more wrong every single day. Europe's coal electricity generation fell by 26%. Gas fell by 15% in 2023. This collapse resulted in a 19% reduction in Europe's power sector emissions. However, for the first time, wind power, which grew by 18%, surpassed gas, which only accounted for 17% of all of Europe's electricity. Now, places like Germany, there is now more than 50% solar use. And Germany is imploring countries like France to do the same. France has said, though, that its plan is uh, nuclear power. At the same time, the Hinkley Power Project, nuclear power project in the UK, one of the biggest nuclear projects in the world, has been delayed by nearly 10 years with a cost blowout of nearly $50 billion. I made a video about that. If you want to see that, I'll put the link in the description below. Wind and solar power are now the most important source of new energy worldwide. And part of the reason for this is the declining cost, in particular, the declining cost of solar. Europe uses a lot of cheap Chinese solar panels, as most countries do, except for the United States. And those solar panel prices came down by nearly 40% in 2023. Together, solar and wind generate nearly 30% of Europe's electricity. Solar covered 9% of Europe's electricity, with hydroelectric power bouncing back, increasing its share in 2023, renewables reached a record 44% share of the European Union's or Europe's energy combination use. So renewables have nearly hit 50% in Europe. And it's obviously not going to go back the other way. It's not going to change anytime soon. Europe is aiming for 55% by 2030. So they're aiming for 55% of all power produced in 2030 to be fully electric. Now, that's a pretty, I don't think it's a very aggressive strategy. It's certainly not um, optimistic. It's probably pretty pessimistic. And places like Germany are hoping for 90% by 2030. Australia is going for 90% as well. But then you've got other countries like Brazil who are at 93% renewables. There's many African countries who are at nearly 100%. Uh, there's certainly opportunity for a lot more growth than this. And I personally think it's very likely considering the huge price drop in not just solar, but what we need to store solar energy, which is batteries. CATL, the biggest battery company in the world, is saying by the middle of this year, the price of their batteries will have fallen by 50%. Now, that's a direct quote from CATL. That will change these numbers drastically. Companies will have to reassess what their plans are, reassess whether or not um, the coal power plants they're using actually make financial sense. Because in many cases, coal power plants are losing money. I've reported on that on numerous occasions on the channel. A report says that in 2023, Europe increasingly relied on wind and solar as 24% of hours in 2023 saw less than a quarter of electricity coming from fossil fuels, a huge improvement from 4% in 2022. This is, a, this is fantastic news. I don't think it's enough, 55% in 2030. I think these, these targets are not aggressive enough. I think they need to, Europe needs to do more, but are they heading in the right direction? Absolutely. Nearly 50% already now is, you know, it's not too bad. Can Europe do better? Yes. Should it? Absolutely. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.